I come from a country you are not free. You are born in Cuba and they cut your wings and you didn't know you had them. They cauterized the wounds and you never knew that you could fly. And eventually I said, if I cannot do it here, I have to get out. Then I have to do it somewhere else. I think yeah, like every cinematographer, we are inspired by images. And I remember when I was a kid, there was a magazine in my house that had underwater pictures. And at the time I was very, very young. I was maybe three, four years old. And I was looking at that magazine always, and it was fascinating to me. I didn't even know why I was so fascinated at the time. But now in retrospect, that makes me realize that you have inside you your calling. And the sea was my calling. It was very difficult to really do this in Cuba and we were forbidden to go to places and we had this little cheap Russian camera that always broke. And we're waiting for hurricanes to come and destroy the name of the restaurants in plexiglass. We went run into the place and pick the pieces of plexiglass, clean it, shave it in with ether that I don't know where we got the ether, make the housings. I became very disappointed and frustrated because I couldn't take pictures. None of the houses work. I function by desire. Your desire has to be bigger than your fear to do this. My desire was bigger than everything else. I said I have to leave the country and it's hard to leave the family. It's hard to not be with them. I never had a mentor. I learned because I spent all my money traveling, getting experience. I had $20 where just to taking risks. If I don't make it in that world, I cannot settle down. I thought I was invincible. I trust that when you jump, higher powers hold you in their hands. The seed told my soul. <laughs> it's beautiful, it's just beautiful. It is so beautiful and so unusual and so mysterious. The beauty is, is put in front of our eyes and it's a matter of good luck, training, resources, put yourself out there. Every dive is different because it's, it's a dynamic thing, you know, it's not like, not like looking at, at a flower pot <laughs> or in, at the house, you know, things barely change. All the time things is, is changing there, you know, it's, it's different everywhere in the sea. That's why I like it, it's, it's not monotonous at all. I don't survive very well in monotony. I need things that change. These experiences are private, I would say. I do it because I want to see it. That's the primary goal and I want to experience them. That's what keeps me going to the sea. jump so much from this windy like this. They're not so active. Then you, you don't know where they are. And they become more skittish. Yeah, the water also murky. We, we might not see anything. Or maybe magically it's gonna be amazing, but that's it. 
Ya. Yeah. Hard to please the family. In seeing them maybe once per year, you know. Even now, so long afterwards, I still miss them. I have to not allow myself to miss them. I have to not think about them consciously, because it's hard to not be with them. To this, this kind of life, I think that's the sacrifice that we did. We have a BAFTA for Blue Planet and then for Emmy nominations. Yeah, I don't look very much at that. I'm a diver. I was built to enjoy whatever it is on the water. I see the sea there and I just feel like my good soul is trying to get down there to see what is happening. I love it when I get footage that I really like. I feel compelled to do it. And then I have a lot of footage that can be used for many purposes. For instance, now I send footage to an artist. They put it out there for the world to use. There is artists that can use it, and I think that's very useful. Creative people can create wonderful things with the kind of thing that we capture in the water. I just concentrate on getting the footage, being in the sea, which is what I really do, and then I just send it to them. They do the rest of the work. When I'm doing that, I am absolutely free. I am me at my best, in my total, absolute freedom. That's like paradise on earth. That's when I have my wings open the widest. 